was a kid where uh, I was a bit, you know, not really encouraged to mix around with friends. So I stayed at home a lot to myself. So being lonely and reserved, like I drew a lot and imagined a lot of scenarios I would be in and acting a lot of skits on my own when I was a kid. How is it being reserved? I think sometimes it is actually a stumbling block. Uh, it's a blockage because at the end of the day, whatever you do, right, you need to communicate your vision with your crew, right? Uh, and, and how is it communicated? That's a very big question, you see. I know if I don't do what I love or what I desire or passionate to do, at the end of the day, I know that passion will come back and haunt me and ask me the question, why have you left me aside? I think the, the, a lot of people actually ask me this very important question, how do you do it? How do you learn? Um, I think I, I was in a way self-taught, I, I observe a lot. Um, and, and for me, I, I, I've been wanting to do filmmaking since young. So everything that's behind the scenes and all, I always pay attention to how they do it, how they set up and then watch what's the end product is like. What I do to distress is one of it is that uh, if you ask my wife and my sister, I walk a, a lot to talk to myself, you know, yeah, that's, that's one, but I don't think you can just answer anyways. Uh, but usually I will read, I will read and then uh, uh, back then, uh, if I'm very stressed out, I will play Dota and so on. But after Dota, I get even more stressed out because I'm not that good. Every day, as, as, it, as I grow as a filmmaker, every day, uh, there's this question asking myself, what kind of filmmaker I want to be. If I want to be a really honest, sincere filmmaker, every day I just strip every layer of fear and insecurities within myself. And, and, and I have to learn how to be uh, empathetic towards people, which means I need to have a lot of empathy. Uh, and yeah, and, and it makes me listen and understand people much more better and uh, communicate better. And makes me understand human better as well. One of the beautiful things about cinema is that you affect people with your work, right? Uh, and, and, and I like the, 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 the experience of giving people the experience. So that's why I told myself that, hey, uh, I want to be a filmmaker. I will make films that give people uh, uh, experience and I strive to give them experience that they will never forget. For aspiring filmmakers, I will encourage to never give up. Um, it's very easy to give up and you face a lot of obstacles, but it is, it is just part of the process and you have to understand a lot of filmmakers, even us now still, we struggle still. Right? Uh, it's a never ending process. But I can promise you that at the end of the day, whatever you achieve, it will be very, very rewarding for you. Right? So uh, never stop learning. My, my take is never stop learning, reading, and uh, keep on doing. Right? Uh, try something new. And when you're creative, it means you have to learn how to dare to take risk. We are, we are born in a system where we are not taught to take risks and that was very wrong. Uh, in order for you to, to learn, you have to make mistakes and that's how you learn. Yeah.